Hi loves, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashika Lee. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. As you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a shower routine. My shower routine. And I swear by all of the products that I use in this video, this is literally what I do every time I take a shower. Some days I might miss um, some steps, but for the most part, this is what I do. This is what I use. So right now, I am just going to be wrapping my hair up, getting it out of the way for my shower because we just can't afford to get our hair wet, okay? Or mess anything up. All right, so we're gonna cover that with our shower cap. My main goal after taking my showers is to feel very refreshed and very moisturized and just to feel good because everyone feels good after a great shower. So we're going to start our water and we're just going to turn our shower water on and I just like to let it run, get the steam coming and the nice temperature flowing through before I hop right in. Alright, so now that we're in the shower, I just like to allow myself to take a deep breath, take a minute before actually starting. And I'm just grabbing my loofah and I'm using the Dr. Bronner's Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. And this is such a great soap to start off your shower with. Um, it leaves you feeling very refreshed and also the peppermint smell with the steam in the shower. It just wakes you up and just makes you feel very refreshing like it's a really good soap to start off with and it also leaves your skin feeling really tingly and just open and like you're ready for your smell good soaps now <laughs> so next i like to go in with the olay um shea butter soap and this soap is a very nice and soothing soap as well this leaves my skin very soft and it does a great job with just you know leaving that long lasting scent on my body as well. So next I'm going in with some shaving cream. This is the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. And I like to take this and just use this while I am shaving because I find that using a shaving cream just eliminates any possibility of getting razor bumps or cutting yourself and it also gives you smooth skin afterwards so to just avoid that I wasn't a heavy shave cream girl but now I do not shave without it and like I said it leaves your skin feeling very smooth So next for exfoliating, which is a must in my shower routine, I am going in with the bare salt scrub in the scent coconut vanilla. Um, I love using this salt scrub because it leaves my skin so moisturized. You have no idea. Like this is such a great scrub and I love it. So next, I also go in with the Coco Colada Sugar Scrub as well. I like to use this scrub on my feet because it's a little bit more harsh. And during the winter time, my feet can get a little bit too rough for my liking. So this does a great job with helping me get rid of that dead skin and just creating a smooth base for my feet. And I also like to go in with my exfoliating glove because it gives me an extra hand with just making sure that we're removing all of that dead skin and it adds to the roughness that we need for our feet. And next, I like to go in with the Dove Instant Foaming in um, Shea Butter scent. And this is just a really nice and soft soap. It makes your skin feel so good and so soft. So that is why I like to go in with this last. And it smells amazing. So now for facial products, I'm using the CeraVe Foaming um, Facial Cleanser. And this is such a great product for sensitive skin. It leaves your skin feeling nice and refreshed. And I like to go in with my Fenty Skin Total Cleanser as well. This is also such a great product. And I use this product daily, 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 daily. 
So next I'm going in with the Honey Pot Normal Foaming Wash. Um, I love to use this. This is my favorite feminine wash. And between this one and the sensitive one, I love them both. And yes, so now after that, we get out the shower and it's time to dry our feet off and just get ready to actually start moisturizing our body. So next, I am just putting myself in my robe. I got this robe from Target. It's super soft, super comfy, and I love it. It feels amazing on your skin, fresh out the shower. So next we're going to take our shower cap off and I just like to comb through my hair and um, just kind of fix it up a little bit. So now for skincare, I like to go in with the Pond's Dry Skin Cream and if you've been watching me for a really long time, you know that I use this product so much and this has been like my holy grail during the winter time, during the summertime even. Um, it's just a great product and it adds great moisture to your skin and really your skin could probably be good with just this but of course me I need a little bit more um, moisture to my skin but this product alone does a great job next I'm going in with the belief the true aqua balm cream and this product as well is also very moisturizing and these two products together I tell you you will not have any dry patches your skin will feel amazing nice and hydrated and next I like to go in with vitamin E oil on top of my face just because it adds more moisture to my skin and it just makes me feel nice and fresh and vitamin E is great for your skin so I definitely love to incorporate that in my facial skin care routine so yes and I actually got that from Amazon and you just want to make sure you drag that down on your neck and just work those products in all right y'all so new product alert this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid and I definitely use this product wrong you're actually supposed to use this prior to any creams so use this product first and then go in with the rest of the products um, yeah so I'm just patting it into my skin and just trying to make sure that my skin is receiving all of this goodness okay and yeah so next we are using some carmex to moisturize our lips because we need it all right so now on to deodorant i'm going in with the native brand deodorant this is the aluminum free and paraben free in the scent coconut vanilla and i absolutely love this deodorant it smells great and i also have a thing for coconut scents okay so next we're gonna go in with the vaseline cocoa body oil and when i say I swear by this product. I love this product. I use this every winter, every winter. Um, it helps with dry skin and it just gives your skin a very nice shine and just keeps it very moisturized throughout the day. And because it's so thick, it just lays over your skin very nicely and it also creates a great base for actually layering other products on top of it, which is what I do. So although this is a great product for moisture, it might not be the best product for scent. So what I like to do is I like to go over that with another cream and this is the body cream by Nivea in the scent Cocoa Butter. And I like to use this over that because it also adds a very nice scent and layering products or something that smells good over oil or some type of Vaseline or sticky um, surface allows the scent to last longer. So I really love this product and it's just, you can also use the cream by itself, but I like to use them both. And next I'm going in with my favorite, favorite, favorite body butter. This is the Laura Mercier Ombre Vanilla body butter and applying this over all of those products when I say this smells amazing and you will smell this scent the entire day all right so now for feet we're gonna go in with the cocoa butter foot formula and this is going to make sure that our feet is very nice and oiled and you know just feeling really nice and soft and this product does a great job at doing that Alright love, so that pretty much completes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, this is my shower routine. This is what I do majority of the time. And it works out for me. My skin stays nice and hydrated, feels soft throughout the entire day. And I stand by this routine. 
so with that being said thank y'all so much for watching hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and before we go today's motivational quote is god's timing is the best timing